My name is Lois Farcell, former women's rugby league player. Um, I've got 18 international caps with England women, won the treble with Bradford Bulls in 2017 and led the Leeds Rhinos women's as the first ever captain to the Challenge Cup. In 2017 I snapped my ACL, an injury that happens to a lot of sports people and he's gutting for them at the time but unfortunately um, for me the ACL reconstruction surgery um, went wrong. Seven operations later I had to hang up my boots. Whilst I was coming to terms with retirement and what that kind of meant for me, it was really important that I could speak to the club welfare officer. When you speak about mental health, you think it's going to be quite a big thing to speak about. And for me, it wasn't. It was just working out where I were at and what do I bring now that I can't play. I think within rugby league, we're all quite headstrong, dominant characters. And I think sometimes it's OK to feel like something's going on that you can't quite contextualise and you feel like, you know, you could speak to someone, you need to speak to someone. And I think sometimes you struggle with coming to terms with that. The Rugby League World Cup are launching the Mental Fitness Charter um, to help upskill and support more people within the Rugby League community. It's going to help support local clubs and players who are playing at any level um, throughout their rugby playing career, not really depending on how high they are, but if they just need support, they're there. The charter will be massive. It'll help people learn that they, they can speak and everyone needs to speak. It'll massively help them. It'll help people connect more to the game and be more like in touch with the game and I think it's time we start focusing on our mental health as well as our physical health. Rugby league isn't just a sport, it's a community and one that takes care of its own. For many years it has been at the forefront of promoting and supporting good mental fitness, working hard to build a positive mindset for everyone involved in the sport. So I am proud to support the Rugby League World Cup 2021 Mental Fitness Charter. This is the first time that a major international sporting event has a central charter focusing on the mental fitness of players, coaches, fans and communities hosting the matches. This charter will build on the brilliant work already happening in Rugby League by committing to training and educating all those involved in the tournament and the wider Rugby League family, not only in how they can look after their own mental fitness, but also support others to do the same. This includes delivering mental fitness workshops to 8,000 young Rugby League players and their families, and training grassroots coaches. And to ensure the message is passed on internationally, all 21 participating nations will be encouraged to take their experiences back home and develop mental fitness awareness programs within their own communities. The perception of Rugby League is that you need to be tough. You can't show your feelings, that you have to grin and bear it. But something like the Mental Fitness Charter will help us make real progress in getting rid of the stigma associated with mental illness and remind people that it is not just about being physically fit, but more importantly, mentally strong. Thank you.